This video tutorial will show you how to add a discussion forum to your Moodle course page in Moodle 2. To begin with, simply turn editing on. And I'm going to add a discussion forum to week 1 here uh, in my Moodle course. And I click on the pop-up Add an Activity menu and scroll down and choose Forum. I'm going to type in a name for the forum, introduce yourself, and I'm going to leave the forum type set to standard forum for general use. Uh, there are a variety of forum types in here. For more information on how the different forums work, you can click on the question mark inside the black circle here. But in general, a standard forum for general use is uh, used most often for standard types of discussions where students can post uh, and reply to other student posts and um, every user can post a different topic within the uh, forum itself. In the forum introduction I'm going to type in um, some instructions for uh, the students in my class. Uh, to the class. I'll say you get five points. So I'm going to make this um, discussion forum. I'm going to add ratings to it. Uh, for a total of Ten possible points in the forum. So if the students introduce themselves, they get five points. Reply to another student post, uh, they get five points, so they can get up to ten points. I'm going to leave the options uh, for subscribing. Um, I'll leave that set to optional. Subscription in Moodle is just another word for email. So uh, if I leave this optional, then students can choose whether or not they wish to receive emails from the discussion forum. I'll leave tracking optional as well. Um, you can change the upload size. I might just leave it set to one megabyte. I don't want them to be adding large files to their posts. Maximum number of att attachments. I'll just leave that set to default. Post threshold for blocking. Uh, blocking uh, allows you to set the um, maximum number of posts that students can make in a given time period. So for example, I could say in one day um, that students can only post three times and that they will get a warning after the second post that they can only post one more time in that 24 hour period. If you don't want to block, you just leave it set to no blocking. Grade category, uh, I don't have categories set up, so I'm not going to use that. Ratings, I am going to rate these forum posts. And to do that, I click on the ratings pop-up menu and change it from no ratings to sum of ratings. Now, once again, a description of these different types of ratings can be found by clicking on the black uh, circle with the question mark in it. But generally speaking, average of ratings uh, would just simply mean that if a student posted once and you gave them five points and they posted a second time and you gave them three points then their rating for the forum would be four points. Count simply adds up the number of posts so if they posted once they get one point if they post 20 times they get 20 points. Maximum rating takes the highest rating that you give to uh, one of their posts and minimum takes the minimum and sum is going to add up uh, the points that I give for each posting. Um, and um, so then I choose what the maximum value is for the uh, ratings. And I said it was going to be up to 10 points. So this way, if they post once, they get 5 points. If they post twice and get another 5 points, they get, get, get 10. Um, they could post several times and still get to 10. Uh, or they could maybe post multiple times and their posts uh, were not good enough to get them to that point value. In any case, this is one way of using the rating system. 
You can restrict ratings to um, posts within a date range. Um, you can set forums up to use with groups. Um, when you're done with this, you simply click Save and Return to Course. And now you can see that your uh, forum is ready here for uh, students to post to.